हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आई के सर केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस हेयर वी आर इन लेक्चर नंबर सेवन ऑन न्यूक्लियर केमिस्ट्री इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस मैजिक नंबर्स लेट अस सी व्हाट आर मैजिक नंबर्स द न्यूक्लियाई हैविंग टू एट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट फिफ्टी एट्टी टू और वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स न्यूट्रॉन्स और प्रोटोन्स और बोथ आर हाईली अस्टेबल एंड सच न्यूक्लियाई आर नॉन रेडियो एक्टिव इट मीन्स इफ द नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स और द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटोन्स और बोथ इन ए न्यूक्लियस टचेज दीज नंबर्स इट बिकम्स द न्यूक्लियस बिकम्स हाईली स्टेबल एंड सच न्यूक्लियाई आर नॉन रेडियो एक्टिव दे आर फोर द नंबर्स टू एट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट फिफ्टी एट्टी टू एंड वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स आर कॉल्ड मैजिक नंबर्स फॉर द न्यूक्लियर एस्टेबिलिटी this is due to the fact that if the number of neutrons or the number of protons in a nucleus touches these numbers the nucleus becomes highly stable and this is why these numbers are called magic numbers explanation for magic numbers the valence electrons of an atom take part in chemical reactions it is a well known fact that the valence electrons of an atom take part in chemical reactions thus the chemical properties of elements depend on their electronic configuration the elements having 2 10 18 36 54 or 86 electrons are chemically very less reactive it is a well known fact that the elements having these number of electrons that is the element having these atomic numbers are chemically very less reactive it is a noteworthy fact that these are the atomic numbers of helium neon argon krypton xenon and radon respectively which are chemically very less reactive thus these numbers 2 10 18 36 54 and 86 are magic numbers for electrons for chemical reactivity it means the numbers 2 10 18 36 54 and 86 for electrons correspond to a stable closed or fulfilled electronic cells if any element if any atom contains these number of electrons their electronic cells are closed or fulfilled which are highly stable and hence these numbers are called magic numbers for chemical reactivity 2 10 18 36 54 86 are magic number for electrons if any element contains these number of electrons it is highly inert it is very less reactive because these numbers of electrons correspond to closed or fulfilled a stable electronic cells like electrons the neutrons and protons in the nucleus are also arranged in separate cells corresponding to different energy levels as 
electrons are arranged in cells around the nucleus. The neutrons and protons are also arranged in separate cells corresponding to different energy levels in the nucleus. The numbers 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 and 126 neutrons the numbers 2 8 20 28 50 82 and 126 four neutrons or protons correspond to closed nuclear cells in the nucleus neutrons and protons are arranged in separate cells and if a nucleus contains 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 or 126 neutrons or protons, the nuclear cells are stable and closed. Therefore, the nuclei having 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 or 126 neutrons or protons or both are highly stable. And these numbers are called magic numbers for nuclear stability. If the number of neutrons or the number of protons or both in a nucleus is 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 or 126, the nucleus is highly stable and these numbers are called magic numbers for nuclear stability. Evidences in favor of magic numbers. Helium-4 contains two protons and 4 minus 2, that is two neutrons. It is highly stable. This has highly stable nucleus because both protons and neutrons are magic numbers. O16 contains eight protons and 16 minus eight that is eight neutrons both protons and neutrons are present in magic numbers in o16 and hence it has also highly stable nucleus pb208 contains 82 protons and 208 minus 82 that is 126 neutrons. Both protons 82 and neutrons 126 are magic numbers here. And therefore, its nucleus is also highly stable. Another example, calcium 40 contains 20 protons and 40 minus 20, that is 20 neutrons. Both protons and neutrons in CA40 are magic numbers and Therefore, its nucleus is also highly stable. Barium-138 contains 82 neutrons, 138 minus 56. Cerium-140 also has 82 neutrons, 140 minus 58. And these numbers of neutrons are magic numbers. 82 is a magic number and therefore these have a stable nuclei. Argon 38, the number of neutrons in this isotope is 38 minus 18, that is 20. Calcium 40 contains 20 neutrons. 20 is a magic number. Thus, argon 38 and calcium 40 have magic numbers of neutrons and therefore these have highly stable nuclei. Molybdenum 92 contains 50 neutrons. 92 minus 42 and it is equal to 50. Similarly, zirconium 90 contains 90 minus 40 that is 50 neutrons. These two isotopes have 50 neutrons and we already know that 50 is a magic number and hence 
these nuclei are also highly stable. These are experimental facts. Thus, there is a good deal of experimental evidences to show that the numbers 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 and 126 for neutrons or protons are associated with high nuclear stability in comparison to their neighbors. The above experimental observations indicate that that these numbers 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 and 126 for neutrons or protons are associated with high nuclear stability in comparison to their neighbors. For example, T has atomic number 50 which is a magic number. T contains magic number of protons. It has 10 stable isotopes. There are 10 stable isotopes of tin. In fact, tin has the highest number of stable isotopes. But their neighboring elements, indium having atomic number 49 and antimony having atomic number 51, these are the neighboring elements of tin with atomic number 50. One neighboring element is indium with atomic number 49 and another neighboring element is antimony with atomic number 51 and these have only two stable isotopes. It is in contrast to T with atomic number 50 which is a magic number. There are 10 stable isotopes of T while the neighboring elements indium and antimony have only two stable isotopes. Another a strong evidence in favor of magic numbers. Neutron emission from the nucleus is very rare due to its high binding energy. The binding energy of neutron or proton in the nucleus is about 8 mega electron volt which is fairly high and therefore the emission of neutron from a nucleus is very rare. But the nuclei having one more neutron than magic number emit a neutron spontaneously to attain magic number of neutrons. If a nucleus contains one more neutron than magic number, it emits neutron spontaneously so that the number of neutrons in it may become a magic number. A few examples are given below. Oxygen 17 contains 17 minus 8 that is 9 neutrons. 9 is 1 greater than 8. 8 is a magic number. It contains one neutron greater than magic number and hence it emits one neutron spontaneously forming O16 which contains magic number of neutrons and it is equal to 8. Krypton 87 contains 51 neutrons. 87 minus 36. 51 is 1 more than 50. 50 is a magic number. It means Krypton 87 contains 1 neutron more than magic number and hence it emits 1 neutron spontaneously forming Krypton 86 which contains 50 that is magic number of neutrons. Similarly, Xenon 137 contains 83 neutrons. 137 minus 54. 83 is 1 more than 82. 82 is a magic number. It means Xenon 137 
contains one neutron more than magic number and therefore it emits one neutron as spontaneously forming the nucleus of J1136 which contains 136 minus 52, 54 that is 82 neutrons. J1136 contains magic number of neutrons. The emission of neutron from these nuclei having one neutron more than the magic number is similar to emission of electron from an atom loss of electron by an atom having one electron more than magic number for electrons for sodium for example sodium contains electronic configuration 281 11 electrons and for electrons the magic number is 10 2 8 10 then magic number for electrons is 2 10 18 36 54 and 86 sodium atom contains one electron more than magic number that is 10 therefore sodium atom loses one electron as spontaneously forming Na plus ion with electronic configuration 2a which is similar to electronic configuration of neon it has magic number of electrons na is highly reactive chemically highly reactive but na plus is chemically not reactive in comparison to sodium all these experimental evidences support the magic numbers they support that in the nucleus neutrons and protons are arranged in separate cells and if the number of neutrons or protons or both in a nucleus is 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82 or 126 the nucleus contains closed nuclear cells and such nuclei are highly stable these are non-radioactive Thank you for watching the video with patience. Please like and share it. If you have not subscribed my channel 8, please subscribe it so that you may get information regarding my new videos in time. Thank you again.